Now I'm going to show you a little bit about Photoshop screen modes. Generally when you're working with Photoshop, you're going to see your tool palette on the left, you're going to see your layer and layers and other dialogues on the right, and at the top you're going to see your menus, etc. Now you may find that a bit crowded when you're working at a certain level. So in CS5, at the top here, on the right hand side, we have a uh, screen mode icon. If you click on that, you can see the different options. Right now we're in standard screen mode, which has all the elements that I spoke about. Our second option is full screen mode with menu bar. If I click on that, you see that we have a larger working area, but we still have a lot of the crowding with the tools. The third option is full screen mode. Now when we select that we get a warning. It's a message that says in full screen mode panels are hidden. They can be accessed on the sides of the screen or revealed by pressing tab. Well in full screen mode you can return to standard screen mode by pressing F or escape. And you get the choice to enter full screen mode or cancel. And you also have an option to not show this message again. So if you can remember the above details check off that box, choose either of these options and you'll never see this prompt again. I'm going to go ahead and click full screen. Now you can see that the only thing visible are the rulers and even that is a setting that can be turned off. If I go to the left and I hover near the left edge I'll see my tool palette. If I go to the right and hover there I'll see my other elements. And if I press escape, we return to the standard screen mode. Now at any time in Photoshop, you can press F to cycle between the different screen modes. It's a quick way to get to the view that you want. Now if we're in screen mode, the full screen mode, pressing the tab key will quickly bring up all of your standard elements and pressing it once again will make them disappear. So that's another quick way to cycle between uh, full editing options and a really great view of whatever image or photograph that you're working on. There we go. Please see my other videos for more help and tutorials. If you found this video tutorial useful, please subscribe for updates and new info. Support files and downloads for my videos can be found at my website, helpvideoguru.com.